Hello, you guys. I am so excited when I see notifications that I have subscribers. I don't know how I have this many subscribers. <laughs> to be honest, I really don't because I'm not like all the other YouTubers out there that, you know, have, you know, some punchy stuff to them, some cool background, um, some, you know, displays of some sort, you know, so I don't know, maybe I'm like, I don't know, I do make people fall, to, fall asleep, so I just have one of those voices, I guess, but uh, anyway, I don't have a lot of makeup, I am a makeup minimalist, to say the least, this is all my makeup, all of it is in, is in this, this little bag, all of it. And uh, I, I pulled out my favorites because that's the video that you're watching right now is favorites from my makeup bag. So let's start. Um, the easiest, the easiest are going to be my eyeshadows because I don't have a lot of eyeshadows. Um, I have to pull one from here. Hold on. Pull one. If I have to pull one, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull this one. Um, all right. So eyeshadow is really easy for me. I am a one and done eyeshadow look. Like today, I have one eyeshadow on. It is called Shy Violet, and it is from Merle Norman. And I'll just keep the specs off because um, all I do is uh, put a glare for you guys on my eyes. Um, but the eyeshadow and the only eyeshadow palette that I will probably ever have or buy again is going to be my Merle Norman uh, Knockout Nudes 2 palette. I love this eyeshadow palette. I did have these colors um, covered up because they were fall colors and now that it's fall I can wear all the colors. I love this palette. It's so... It's so universal. It goes from, it's a 360 palette basically. It's all year round. And yeah, so summer, spring, fall, and winter, this palette is the only palette that you need. Especially as a warm winter, this is the only palette. Done. It's a one and done. Like, you can't go wrong with those colors. The other eyeshadow that I discovered from Merle Norman, and I probably will never stray away from Merle Norman's eyeshadows because I just love them so much is buff. I love this color. It is a perfect brown. It's just, it's one of those, it's like a lipstick. It's like your perfect nude lipstick. And I just love this color. Again, it is called buff. And I, all, if I I'm not wearing anything from the eyeshadow palette. I am wearing this color. I am picking up this color every day, all day. It's buff, buff all the way. So love this color, love it. You guys know that I love our eyeshadow sticks. I do love a good eyeshadow stick. I'm just not picking them up as I thought that I would. And so I bought like almost every single color yeah, but the one that I tend to go towards again is a brown and it is bronzed age. I do love bronze age. I don't know if it's going to focus for you, um, but yeah, I've been wearing the snot out of this guy and I will swatch it for you right here. So that is bronze age and it's just again, it's, a, it's like a really fancy brown because it has all of these like sparkles in it and I'll go ahead and swatch buff because I swatched bronze age for you um so here it is so you see buff is just really really light but it it takes on its own uh when you put it on your eyes so again I love this one it's like just a a real nice nude I, when you don't know what to wear, wear buff. That's just my go-to buff. All right, the rest, 
honestly, the rest are lipsticks. I know, I know. But I am, normally I would tell you about blush because I am a blush girl. I love blush. But what I've been doing, believe it or not, the same color that is on my lips right now is the same color that's on my cheeks. So, uh, one of the colors that I really, really love, and I thought it was more of a fall color. This I already reviewed a long time ago, a few videos ago, was Blur Fudge Tint. And I think it's by RDM. RDM. Anyway, this is a Korean um, beauty, I think. I got it from suggested videos on YouTube here and it is just the most beautiful soft rose princess lips color like I love this every time I wore this uh, on my Disney trip so if you see any of those videos or pictures this one is what I'm wearing in those videos oh it's gorgeous it's such it gives me like princess lips. I don't know how to describe it because it's like a blurred effect, but I will feature this in a video soon. Again, a different makeup looks. I'm wondering how it's going to do for the cheek area. I'm really excited uh, to put that on my cheeks, but it is such a pretty, pretty, just the perfect rose. Like if I could express the color it's just a beautiful mauve rose that is like like a Disney princess, like a Disney princess lip. I always get vibes when I <laughs> when I put this one on. I just I love it. The other one is this. This is Mac. I've worn this plenty of times. It's dervish. I am really loving this pencil. As you can see, it was a lot longer um, when you get them in but it's just been a really great pinkish nude it just goes with every single every single color and my bro-in-law actually bought this for somebody else <laughs> I think he actually bought these for his own sisters um, but he ended up giving this gift to me and so I really do love this pencil I don't know how but I think he just went into the Mac store and just said I have sisters and uh, yeah they you know love lipstick what goes with everything I think this actually goes with every single lip so I will probably go back to Mac once I am done with this pencil and I will get this color again because it's actually really nice. I love I love using this with just this alone um, paired with any of my lip colors or even just with a gloss. So love that. I love that lipstick. Going on with Mac, this was also one of the colors that he actually picked out. And as you can see, I've loved it to death. And this is the color Fox. And I actually got a compliment from one of you guys uh, saying how much you liked um, this lipstick color on me. So that is the lipstick color and that is Dervish. So they kind of complement each other, I think. I think they go really well. Yes, indeed. But yeah, when I am really just don't know what to wear on my lips, I go to Fox. So. That's by MAC, and that's one of my favorite colors. All right, the other one, I will have to say, and I love this time and time again, I just ordered another tube. It is my City Lips Lip Plumper. This is amazing. I love this gloss. I use it as kind of like a skincare product for my lips. So I use it in the morning, and then I use it at night, and then that's it. That's all I do. So it does help with nourishing your lips, plumping your lips. It does work. It's not a miracle worker, but it really does work. And I will probably never be without a tube. That's why I love it so much. I've been using this guy for years, like years. When I say years, I mean like over 10 years, probably. <laughs> um, the rest of them is going to be none other by Merle Norman. Yes, these are all Merle Norman lipsticks. So we're going to go with their new 
Merle Norman. This is in Gumdrop. It's what I'm wearing right now. I love our new, uh, our plush. These are our plush lip glosses. And this is in Gumdrop. Love the formula. I actually bought the old formula. I think I did do a video um, regarding this formula and the original formula. Turns out I really love the new formula. Thing about it is, is that I don't know what it is about the brush or just the packaging, but I I never used that much of my lip gloss before, and this sucker goes quick, which one is a good thing because it will never go old, and two, it's a bad thing because you're gonna be going back to the store and buying it again within, I would say, two to three months, especially if you use it on a regular basis. Yeah, this sucker is gonna go quick, but it's worth it. I love it. Comes in a lot of different colors, and people are like, women constantly flock to this, and I really do love. I just, Gumdrop, I will never be without Gumdrop, ever, never. So, let me swatch it for you. <laughs> so here it is. It is a doe foot applicator, and it doesn't have a real strong presence of, well, no, it did produce some color there. It has a little bit of color, but I would say it's more of a topper, so I'm not gonna use this pretty much alone. I will use it with my dervish i'll use these two together or i'll just top it over whatever i'm wearing for the day all right the next one is going to be merle norman caramel kiss like y'all could see that and read that caramel kiss is the perfect nude i love caramel kiss um i pair it with almost absolutely everything it's very comparable to this one to fox but um, Caramel Kiss is in the creamy formula as far as uh, Merle Norman lipsticks go. These have some staying power, but not as well as some of the other ones that I really love. But I really love this mixed with other lipstick colors. It kind of just calms the color down. So if you have a really, really strong color and you're like, ooh, I can't really wear this without wearing this. That's what this one does. This one just kind of calms it all down and you're able to wear a very loud and proud color without it being too overly like talking. So I like Caramel Kiss. It's such a good color and I will never be without Caramel Kiss. So pretty, even on its own. It's really, really pretty. As you can tell, it's cute. The other one is very well loved. As you can see, it's hurting. <laughs> it's hurting really, really badly. Um, this one is Sweet Liberty also. It is from Merle Norman. And uh, this one is sadly a discontinued color. Um, but I've gotten so many compliments when I wear this one. It is a pretty pink. Um, and yeah, sometimes it can be a little loud on its own, so I do pair it with Caramel Kiss a lot. Um, but it does have a really good stain effect to it. The reason why I'm leaving it out like this is uh, because Moral Norman, let me just let me just say, Moral Norman has uh, all of their stuff displayed. And what happens over time, and I mean like over time, uh, is that things oxidize. So when I tried this color on, per se, from the tube in our store, it was a different color than what uh, came in the actual tube. So if you are trying stuff at Merle Norman and you're trying it from the tube, just be aware that it may not be the correct color. So when I am over there and I'm selling product, I actually go and open up an, a fresh uh, container of like a lipstick, whatever someone's trying to buy, and I show them the real color because those colors that are on display have been on display for many, 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 many years. And they have since oxidized. We normally don't test from our 
testers like this. We normally test it uh, with bubbles. Let me show you guys. We test it from our bubbles like these, but even these can grow old. And depending upon, you know, when's the last time we got new testers, uh, it can be oxidized inside the bubble. I know, how can oxygen get inside there? It can, it just can, and it will, and it will be old. So anywho, um, my last favorites are going to be, again, from Merle Norman. The one that I'm wearing currently is Carnation Pink. I didn't think that I could wear this or pull this off because it is such a strong, it's a strong color. Um, so how these are, these are our lip pencils. So basically one side is going to be your liner. The other side is going to be your color. You don't have to wear it like that. You can wear it however you want to wear it, but that is their suggestion. So this is the liner. The liner is always going to be a matte color. And then this is going to be the actual lip color side. The lip color is always going to be something kind of iridescent and shiny. Um, what do they call it? Frosted. It's going to be a frosted color. So this is the color combination that I have on my lips and on my cheeks. I love this because it does have a staining effect. Um, the more you put it on, like the more you reapply, the more layers it has to stain your skin. So I do have to reapply after eating and drinking, but I still have a little bit of wash of color afterwards. Um, I've been wearing this pretty much all day. Um, I just reapplied um, not too long ago the lips and so all I do is I take a powder puff and as you can see there's the residue there and all I do is I blot my lip and from my blotted lip I put it on my cheeks so I just like to refresh that and a little bit on the nose there you go um, so it definitely acts like a um, cream, what is it, cream blush. I normally am not a cream blush person, but I am actually becoming more of a cream blush person. Um, but instead of buying cream blush, I'm just using my lipsticks because they're basically, dare I say it, the same. The same. Except I'm not buying a separate product. And I have, a, I have tons of like blushes to choose from. All right, so the next color that I love is called Tender Kiss. This one, again, is a sweet nude. I love this. This is the liner side. There you go. And it can compare with all my other little nudes here. And then this is the color side. So you can see. Ooh, she's sweet. I love this nude. I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it and I had to have it, so I did. <laughs> and then my last but not least, this one is a coveted color. People love this color and I understand why. It is a wonderful color. It's called Sugar Plum. Sugared, excuse me, Sugared Plum. And this one has the Plum Liner. And then it has the frosted pinkish color here. There we go, if I can get that to show up. There we are. So we have, I think these colors, I think we have about, I'm gonna say we have over 20 colors. Yeah, maybe 20, maybe about 20 or 19. 19 to 20 of these colors. So. Like I said, they last a really good long time on your lips, and I use them for my cheeks. I will be uh, experimenting with them, uh, using them on my cheeks as cheek color, because honestly, you guys, I am so fed up with trying to find blush. This is like my umpteenth time to find blush, and I haven't been able to find blush and keep it. I just threw away several blushes because they just don't work for my skin tone. 
and it's so difficult. So instead, I am just going to use all these colors that I have and just put them on my cheeks. So there we go. Anyway, uh, these are my favorite things in my makeup bag. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you guys for subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.